Right up. So we now have an interesting problem because incidentally two things first thing is um, from the original video that I made of um, putting this together in Vitricus Fire uh, I changed the roughing toolpath to a 3D roughing toolpath that's why this is following the contours of the lion and secondly um, we have now machined all the material away of the height of the material uh, that was originally you know the top of the material so now um, the interesting question is how do you find the zero Z zero for this tool uh, two simple ways a you have a scrap piece of this wood and you sit on top of here and just set the tool on top of that and B if you don't have any material this size which is 42 millimeters what we're going to do is we're going to zero off the base material down here and raise it up in mark 3 to 42 millimeters and we zero it there okay so with our pendant we'll bring it down slightly bring it the right way bring it forward then in the Y and then a little bit more marginal knock us feed back in the Z take it down till it just touches the material now I can do that by eye I can actually see the shadow from the light over there and the light behind me and it makes a bit of a crosshair on here and when that crosshair shadow meets the end of the tool I know that I'm right there I've just touched into the material there, so I'm going to set that as zero. So we're going to set that as zero now in Mark III for the Z. So we're going to fetch it up 42 millimeters. That's as near as 42 millimeters as we need to be. So I'm going to reset the zero.
Okay. One very deep 3D lion. Anyway, we got it finished. And uh, this, is, of course, was uh, put together in Vetric Aspire. So uh, I hope you've liked the video today. If you have, please press like and subscribe. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons. It is the patrons behind this YouTube channel that uh, keeps it going. And uh, if you'd like to become a patron, uh, there's also a link uh, down below this uh, video. Once again, patrons, thank you very much for your support. And indeed, thank all you viewers for your support viewing my videos. Uh, so, the next video, not quite sure what it's going to be. Probably a wood turning, but uh, never, you can never tell. <laughs> so, again, thank you for watching, and uh, it's bye for now.